interesting that you say negative things. Uh, this will be the part that we break out. Okay. So, uh, uh, inevitably, when you talk about something like this, you don't know what everybody else is going to say. Yes. You just you just got to go with whatever you're going to mm-hmm. say. Uh, and try to get ahead of what everybody else is th- they want you to say or what they're thinking about yeah. like they want to hear from you like what mm-hmm. do people what questions do people have about right, the thing right. and what do they want to know um for whatever reason uh they gave linus and dave 2d an hour head start from the embargo so their embargo is lifted at 4 a.m for some okay. reason also they got the units in their hands for some reason yeah. i don't know why these two people got picked <laughs> to just get them but um they got them and both of them started their videos talking about how uh, there's a lot of controversy around Asus right now because of the uh, warranty stuff and, right. and how like s- their things break, especially the RG Ally, the SD card slot, yes. just just fails. Um, and if you send it back to Asus, they have a really terrible uh, warranty and RMA system. And they might not fulfill your your issue. They 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 might just give you the runaround. It, it's a terrible process. Right. They have a terrible RMA process. So that's the thing that they decided to front load the videos with uh, to get ahead of people talking about that. When I posted my video today, mm-hmm. all the comments are immediately <laughs> about the RMA issues yeah. and stuff. And I did talk about them. Yeah. I just did it at the end of the video because mm-hmm. I didn't realize how much. That was going to be an issue for people. Um, also, I think it's the same thing when you talk about Lenovo on a different end. Uh, they're a Chinese company, so everybody just says, uh, don't buy Lenovo stuff because they steal your data and give it to the Chinese government. Right. So, like, no matter what, you're, 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 you're yeah. losing. There's no ethical consumption in capitalism, kids. <laughs> But that's not to say Asus shouldn't right. change their RMA issues. No, one hundred percent. Yeah, we have issues with Steam's RMA process. I got, I got issues with all of them. <laughs> so take like, your pick. So it's they're they're and all I got, bad. I got, I got a, I got more to say about that like towards the end of the episode. Oh, but Jesus like, yeah, <laughs> they're all bad. Is yes. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, what I ended up saying towards the end of my video is they have bad RMA issues. My recommendation is get it from a retailer that has their own good warranty service. Yeah. Uh, like if you happen to have that Best Buy service where you get the free warranty or whatever, yeah. just th- then you're fine because you get it through mm-hmm. Best Buy and they'll just give you another one. Or if you get an Asus RG Ally X and something goes wrong with it, chances are you're going to have to fix it yourself. Yeah. And a lot of people watching this are probably okay with that, yeah. but it just is what it is. Uh, I don't love that about them either, but... Mm-hmm. It just is what it is. Now, uh, the what I thought the controversy was going to be for my video was okay. go- I thought it was going to be about uh, review events because yes. another YouTuber posted a video. Uh, Gerald Undone posted a video on uh, review events for for a camera because he does camera stuff. Yeah, uh, and he's right about that. Like they try to wine and dine you to butter you up it's it we've heard about it from like game review events yeah. when you like come to other like game reviewers will talk about how like they'll preview a game but the the game company will like fly you out yeah they like, put you up in a hotel they treat yeah. you to dinner yeah 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 i did that once with uh mass effect andromeda and, and prob- i was like this game rules yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then the game came out and everyone hated the game <laughs> <laughs> so all your theories are right they yeah. do they do color the perception of the game no there is there is a little bit to that because yeah. it's cool to be there and talk to the people who made the thing and see their reasoning for why things are the way that they are mm-hmm. um but at the same time you're getting like a human face to the company so yeah. like that changes the things it's, it's yeah. like do you want to say bad things about a friend you just met yeah but I I don't care <laughs> if you, if you did something that I don't like. Yeah. I, it's my job to say it. Yeah. You know, I don't think that's. I think that's pretty apparent. I could see how that would skew perceptions for certain people. Yeah, and I know like people take a lot of pride in their work, and to hear like some guy, you know, just shit all over it on YouTube, it's like it's it sucks. It's painful, but at the same yeah. token, like you're selling something that's eight hundred dollars. You know, you expect it to work and work properly. So I think people have a right to know about any problems that you as a company have, the uh, what the previous device was going through, and just let people need to be aware of what they're getting into before they sink all that money into it. 
the the issue with the original ROG Ally, the SD card issue, the micro SD card yeah. issue, uh, they are avoiding talking about it. Right. They, which is bad. <laughs> that's very bad. That they, they it it reminds me a lot of Nintendo with the Joy Con. Yeah. Drift. They're not. They will not explicitly acknowledge the Joy Con drift, but there's evidence of them trying to fix it. Yeah. Um, because they don't want to be liable. But right. Nintendo is fixing it. Yeah. Uh, Asus seems to not be yeah they claim that they uh will uh fix it if you send it in but there's evidence that they give you the runaround there's yeah. evidence that they charge you money for it uh dave 2d emailed asus and said i'm not review i'm not even gonna make a video for you unless you address the micro sd card issue or mm -hmm. your rma issues and they emailed him back and said that all Asus RG allies will have an extended warranty of two years. The previous model. Okay. So it's already been a year. You yeah. get another year. Okay. Uh, but judging by uh, Gamers Nexus and him sending his review unit in and then him getting basically a, a ransom note back, <laughs> um, they might just not. They might yeah. make up some bullshit reason for them not to fix the micro SD card mm -hmm. issue. And Linus also brought up that the micro SD card issue, we thought it was, uh, I always say it's a heat issue, like it overheats. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Um, it could still be that. Yeah. Um, that's why they moved it in, yeah. this, in this version. But uh, Linus was saying that it is a fuse that just breaks and then the whole thing's fucked. Okay. Uh, but I think heat could do that too, can't it? It could just overheat and blow yeah. the fuse. Yeah. So, but anyway, back... When they discovered this issue, they changed the fan curve so that it wouldn't get as hot. Right. Um, they didn't publicly admit that it was because of micro SD card. They moved it in this one. Yeah. So it's clear that the micro SD card was getting hot. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's just one of the many changes. Yeah. Um, I just want to say real quick, I'm on the Wikipedia page for the Ally and... You can tell I'm in the middle of an update because there's just a sentence that is the ROG Ally X and then... <laughs> you, you, so if you, I hit refresh, it might be filled out. You caught them writing yeah. it out. Uh, one last that's, thing. That's fun. One last thing about uh, the review event. Uh, talking about how it could like skew your perception. You see people in real life, so you like might view them as friends. You don't want to yeah, say yeah. bad things to your friends. I will say the Fox was there grilling them on <laughs> why they've used a uh, USB uh, four and not Oculink. Okay. You would not shut the fuck up about <laughs> Oculink. Because Oculink is a, a higher bandwidth. Yeah. Uh, USB 4 is just way more uh, universal. It's convenient, yeah. It's a lot more convenient. For, yeah. Not everybody's going to want to use an eGPU. Yeah. Having that extra port is more useful. Yeah, more you can do more with it. Than, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can understand why it'd be cool to have an, like a really high bandwidth eGPU, but... Yeah. It, it'll be more useful to more people to have someone that could double as an eGPU, even if it's a lower bandwidth, and just be an extra port. Okay. Uh, one of the great things about the Lenovo Legion Go is that it has two ports. Yeah. So this is the top of the Asus ROG Ally. That's nor X, I'm sorry. This is normally where the USB... I'm sorry. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> it's a dip, weird day today. Yeah. We're, we don't usually do it as day. Uh, this is usually where the micro SD card slot is. Yes. Now it has moved over here. Instead, you got two USB ports, and I think the one on the right is USB four. I, I think they're labeled, but I don't think I could they be are wrong. Labeled. Oh, I said I could be wrong because when I looked at it, I could not tell which. I thought it was the left one. Well, I mean, and then line. I saw Linus's video, and he highlighted the right one. Okay. But he could be wrong. He could be wrong. So actually, he can't be because I watched him plug it in. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'd rather have two ports. Right. It. They should be spread out, but it's yeah. fine. It's fine. They should do one on the top and one on the bottom. Yeah. But as long as we're as long as we're getting two, yeah. I'm not gonna complain too much. Um, all right. So let's get into the specs. This is an article from CNET. Uh Asus ROG Ally X gaming handheld was built from your wishes. Wow. Wow, they they heard they got my letter to Santa. Uh Asus refreshed its Republic of Gamers Ally. I've never seen it written out like that. <laughs> Gaming hands. I mean, that is its proper government name. <laughs> <laughs> Redesigning it based on user feedback for the new RG Ally X. It's not a completely new device, though it's close. And there's enough here that if you passed on the original Ally, you might consider a second look. 
Although if you do, you'll see the price has increased from $700 to $800. Oh, did we mention that? I'm sure they'll mention it here, but uh, it's a terabyte now. Yes. So it's $100 more, mm -hmm. but you're getting a terabyte of storage instead mm -hmm. of 512 gigabytes. And uh, increased memory. It's going from 16 to 24. gigabytes to 24, yeah. and it's faster. Which is the rumors we talked about previously. Yeah. Aside from the general appearance for uh, the only carryovers from the Ally to the Ally X are the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme Processor and 7-inch Full HD Touch Display, and it's still running Windows 11. What else would it be? Linux, I guess. Yeah. So if your wish list had those being replaced, maybe next time. But just about everything else has changed for the RG Ally X. For starters, instead of just the 512 gigabytes of storage, the Ally X will have a one terabyte option. If that turns out not to be enough, the device's M.2 2280 solid state drive is accessible for upgrade. That's another huge thing that I was not expecting and I was kind of shocked by when I saw it on, on the display. Yeah. They had, they had it opened up. Uh, a full-sized SSD in, in there. That's great. Because that just gives you so many more options now. Yeah, I didn't realize... I realized that it would be cheaper for mm -hmm. people because those are just more widely available. Yeah. I didn't realize that there just are bigger storage options. Like, you can get, like, an 8 terabyte, yeah. terabyte and throw it in yeah. there, which would be absolutely absurd. I mean, and that, that would probably get hot, too. Yeah, that's also, you know, about the same price as the system itself, an 8-terabyte SSD. Yeah, but so. people are going to do it. I, I also didn't realize people were modding their old ones to That's do insane. that yeah yeah anyway uh we have the spec list here display it's the same display 128 hertz refresh rate uh also variable refresh rate which is okay. a big deal to a lot of people uh z1 extreme uh 204 gigabyte whoa 24 gigabytes <laughs> lp ddr5 x they forgot the x it's in the name <laughs> that's true uh and yeah that gives you more yeah. uh speed uh, and then the SSD is one terabyte. All this stuff is the same. 80 watt hour battery. Uh, oh, this is something I forgot. It's going to come with the same USB-C uh, 65 watt charger, the same exact one from the last one, but it can handle up to 100 watts. So if you oh. have like one of those Ugreen chargers yeah. that we have uh, that can do 100 watts or more, or even the MacBook charger. Yeah. Um, you can get up to a hundred watt fast charging, so it will charge faster if you use a different charger than yeah. the one that it comes with. So that's interesting. The last one would not do that, right? ASUS also increased the amount of system memory. Yeah, we know all that. Uh, battery life is always an obstacle with these gaming handhelds, but the Ally's forty watt hour battery pack was a bit too small for users. The Ally X has all new battery. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a little heavier now. Uh, they managed to offset some of it with the case. They like made the case lighter right uh but all in all it's it's slightly heavier but really you don't really notice much it's also a little thicker but you don't notice that either really uh to accommodate the larger battery asus had also redesigned the motherboard and cooling system uh, i didn't really talk about this too much but they did make a smaller one somehow that's supposed to cool it better right the process resulted in an improving cooling solution that included smaller but more efficient fans uh as well as a smaller and more efficient uh heat sink the combination resulted in a temperature drop of up to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. A drop of 42 degrees? Like a whole... F no, six... A temperature drop of up to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Like 42 degrees less? Or down to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And then it says 6 degrees Celsius. I That... I don't know Fahrenheit yeah. to Celsius. Well, zero... Is it like a curve? You can't like... Yeah, like zero degrees Celsius is freezing. Th that I understand. Yeah. So like you're only six points above freezing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but isn't it a curve? This isn't still, it like, like... That's, that's very close to freezing. <laughs> so that's got to be pretty cold. Asus said the cooling system also decreased the touchscreen temperature. So it's more comfortable to use. So apparently they said people complained about how it was hot to the touch. Right. Never have I ever noticed that. Okay. Uh, the Lenovo Legion Go gets hot to the right. touch and it's loud as fuck. Yeah. Uh, the MSI Claw, very cool. Yeah. Otherwise terrible device, <laughs> but, but cool to the touch. Yeah. 
Lastly, while it doesn't look too different from the Ally, the Ally X has slightly deeper and more rounded hand grips, smaller rear macro buttons to reduce accidental presses, a more precise D-pad, more durable joysticks with stiffer springs, and better and overall control layouts. Uh, yeah, I didn't mention this in my video either. They moved uh, the thumbsticks slightly. Uh, yeah. it, it, it's supposed to be more ergonomic. Also, the buttons are taller but you don't notice it they're only taller because the case is different yeah. so it, they don't actually sit any higher i think in linus's video he talks how they're taller but if you put the two devices next to each other they will they will look exactly yeah. the same you won't actually notice it when you play it all right so that's the rg ally x uh it is 800 dollars for yes. all of that with all of the specs if you're just looking at the specs it is the one to go with right now it is the, right if you want a windows one you are cool with Linux, Steam Deck's the way to go. Yes. But the RG Ally X, uh, with all the specs we have here, seems to put it in the top spot of PC handhelds. Yeah. However, it is now the most expensive if you're putting it against the other ones, like yeah. the Lenovo Legion Go. And even the MSI Claw. I think the MSI Claw maxes out at around the same price. Yeah. But that one's Intel. Yeah. People got problems with that. So, uh, oh, the MSI Claw is like up to nine hundred dollars, depending on. So what's the? Uh, there is a seven hundred. Uh, there is an eight hundred dollar option. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to uh, the one that I have is eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm going to their website now just to see. I think the one that I did I pay for. Uh, so I, all right, I'll just go for the this one. Uh, Claw A A one M. Eight hundred dollars. Is that a terabyte? That is a terabyte. That's gonna have sixteen gigabytes of internal uh, of RAM. Though. Yeah. So uh, even though this is the same price, the Ryzen Z1 Extreme is gonna uh, give you more uh, compatibility. Yeah. And it's got twenty four gigabytes of fast RAM, and that's only got mm -hmm. sixteen gigabytes. I think it is the faster RAM though. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. So, this positions it in a good spot, but it makes you spend a little more money. Yeah. And uh, I was hoping this would just be a replacement for last year's model, so that that would hopefully drive the price of last year's model down, yeah. which is on sale now, like, all the time. It, yeah. it, it launched at $700, but you can get it for, I think, $630 I've right now. I've seen it for, like, yeah, like 600 yeah. So, it'll probably go down when this one comes out, too. And that one's still a great deal if you only want to spend 600 bucks. That's yeah. a $200 discount. You'll still be able to play games pretty well on that thing. Um, but if you want something brand new, this, uh, seems pretty good. But again, I was hoping this would be like $700, like mm -hmm. a replacement. I actually, I don't even mind if they did the same amount of RAM. Yeah. At all these the, changes. The switch OLED model, you know, just, it's slightly better and it's only $50 more. Yeah. We were talking about when we heard the specs leaked, I was equating this to the Steam Deck OLED where yeah. it has, uh, faster memory and a better screen and stuff mm -hmm. but overall it's kind of the same but the 24 gigabytes really changes things yeah it really makes it an actual performance bump uh dave 2d brought up a good point he said that he thinks the original rg ally uh they charged too little for it and they lost money on okay. it so now this one they have to charge more for yeah it, which would kind of make sense otherwise if you have a pc handheld already uh you don't you don't this you don't need this yeah you don't need that extra memory you just wait till uh next year i'm sure they'll have another one mm -hmm. and that's it there you go and i won't get one in my hands for another month and the review embargoes are up at the end of july so okay that's like a long way to yeah. go until we're, you're gonna hear anything about the rg ally x again mm-hmm 